Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about Canva. And since it's we're in the blog post about how to size your images and what kinds of images you should be using on all the different social sites, I'm not sure I can have a more amazing tool for you to use. Now, Canva is an online photo, picture, font um, kind of software. And if you watch the other video, you'll notice that one of my Canva pictures is actually one of my most popular posts on Instagram, which is super cool. But so today, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a Twitter post. And I am going to make a picture quote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to use a picture beside a quote. And I'm going to use this background because I thought this was kind of cute. And then I have a quote I can paste in here. So let me do this. I love Lewis Carroll, so that's cute, but I thought I would go with something funny because I have a cute and funny dog picture. I tend to get my pictures on a stock photography site called Big Stock Photo, and I will put that in there. But if you're just doing one or two, the cool thing about Canva is you could actually um, buy one of theirs for a dollar. You don't have to even go outside of Canva. You could do a search for all kinds of pictures, but I have a picture. So that's our first fun thing. So here's a funny dog picture. I'm going to, it's uploading right now. It uploads really quickly. I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. And it's thinking, thinking, there you go, already in. And I am going to put this right here. How cute is that? I totally love the little dog. I'm going to, it's not going to be quite centered. And maybe, maybe, is this a background? Maybe we would like a background. Can we do a background? Black? Green? Well, that's kind of cute, isn't it? That's my green color. goes with the doggy. Let's see, let's do a little bit, a little bit greener. Or we could do orange. To, oh, there we go. So we have a nice contrast there. Okay, so now we're going to make this either black, black. I want it to be a little bit bolder. There we go. Um, and we can cheat this a little bit just to pull that up. Inside, outside of a dog, a book is a man's best friend. Inside of a dog, it's too dark to read. How cute is that? Okay, and then Groucho Marx, we're going to make white so that it kind of shows up. There we go. Super cute. Took two seconds. So, that's not the neatest thing about this. Hold on to your horses here. So, what we're going to do is now we're going to do file magic resize. And I also, I made the Twitter post, right? I want an Instagram post, a Pinterest post, and a Facebook post. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button. Oh, so it wants to allow pop-ups. Done. Okay. So now we're going to say resize. And this is absolutely the coolest thing in the whole entire world. Because now all my content is just automatically resized to fit this. Now for Instagram, ach, I may just have this be my whole dog, right? Because we don't really care about the, the saying as much on Instagram. I can, I can make it a saying, but I can just pull this out, pull this out, right? Got to get Groucho. Where's Groucho? Groucho's right here. So we'll put this down here and it'll, it, it shows you where the middle is. And then I'm going to put this right in the middle. And then I'm going to make this white. Okay. White. Because I'm not really trying to rank on Instagram. They're not going to really read it. They're just going to, um, to check it out. Let's see if we can find something that's a little bolder that maybe we could see. So what about this ultra? That's good enough. What we're really going to get likes for is the cute doggy picture. And then on our Pinterest, what we'll do is we'll do this. We're going to take this up here. Drag this out. 
we got our cute color down here. Let's go ahead and pull this out. And we'll make this 36, too big. 32, just about right. Excellent. So let's hide this for a second because we got to get our Groucho down here. Let's center him. Let's get, uh, make that a little bit bigger so you can see it's Groucho marks because that's kind of makes it even funnier. And then you know what? I would almost, because we're on Pinterest, I would almost like to see this be tiny, 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 and my dog to be a lot bigger because people on Pinterest like dogs. Can we do the whole thing in the dog? Oh, yay. Dude, that's excellent. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make this white again like we did on the other one, right? So that's the perfect size for Pinterest. And last but not least, we have Facebook. Perfect size for Facebook. And I would almost do the same exact thing. So the only one I don't really know that we had it on was pin was Twitter. Because if we tried to, as if you can see, if we tried to pull it wide enough, it would distort the doggy. So we really need to have some kind of side I think I might almost make this white to kind of have a consistency there. We almost have a, to have a side thing. And then literally all you do is you um, you can say send this back so we can see our, our things that we have. And then I probably make this a little bit wider so it doesn't cover our dog. And then just scooch this down. We're looking for, there we go, halfway through. And then let's make this white. And we just took about six minutes to make all the graphics for this. And it would have taken a lot less time if I was just doing it myself rather than trying to explain it to you. So in five minutes, you can make a graphic that will work on your Twitter. And then all you do is download it. So you would say image for web PNG. That's it. You just rename them the right size. So uh, I'll, I guess I'll show you that too. How exciting. Okay. So how I name them is, oops, is like this, is, let's see, oh, I bet you it's in downloads. So how I do it is this is outside of, this is the name of the file that comes down. And we know that this one was the Facebook one. So I would say a uh, book man's best friend Facebook. Now watch this. This is tricky. And then I would highlight this part copy. Then I'm going to come over here to Pinterest, say download, image for web. And it's going to show up in one second. There it is. Then I do this and then I click paste. And that one was Pinterest. And then I go to Instagram and I say download. And so I, you don't need to watch me do this all three times. But as you can see, it's super, super easy to use Canva to resize your pictures for all the things. Right now, I believe it's $10 for this feature. I would definitely jump on it. I am paying for it myself, even though I do have uh, Photoshop. One of the reasons being is that when I need a little creative help, when I'm feeling a little... Um, not inspired, what I will do is I will come in here and I will start with one of their um, one of their layouts. See, they have layouts with all different pretty colors and things like that. What I'll do is I'll start with one of their layouts. It generally doesn't wind up looking a lot like it, but that way I have somewhere to start. And they have um, wonderful graphic designers whose job it is to make layouts. So 
Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.